Hello YouTube and welcome to a tutorial video of computer craft. Today we are here to, sh well I am here to show you how to make a um, password locked door using computer craft. So it's, you know how in old name vanilla Minecraft you'd have to have like a bunch of levers, redstone signs and all this stuff and it wouldn't really always work and it would be kind of bad to use. And also, it would obviously take a lot of space. But with computer craft, all you need is one block, the computer itself. And I'm not sure why there's an arrow here. I'm guessing that. What the hell? Hmm. Oh god, that's just a better dungeon mod, isn't it? Not anyway, so that's just really weird. Um. Anyway, so this is the door I've set up here. So basically, you can't get in on this window, there's no button on pressure plate. But there's a computer right here, and when I go into it, it says enter password. And then for this computer, my password is just JSB43. So I put that in, and then I press enter, it says pass correct access granted. I go through the door, opens the door, closes behind me. If I get off this pressure plate here, and um, the door closes and I'm inside. So that's basically the main thing about the password lock door. Okay, so that was the um, door that's already been set up, but you're not here just to see that, you're here probably to see how to make one of those doors. So today I'll show you also with this door here, how to make this. So, what you need to do first is you need to put this kind of setup. The computer can be anywhere, it can be well, not anywhere, but it can be like above here, so it can be, well, if I, if I can place one, it can be there, or it can be here, here, and I think it can be on top and, I th and on bottom as well, but for today we're just going to use the one that I've already set up, which is here. Okay, you just go into this, and then you tap, so this thing will appear. Now, this is a completely new computer, so no programming has gone onto it, so what you need to do is, um, the first step would be um, edit start up. By the way, this part isn't completely necessary. Um, this is just programming the part that says enter your password please, like at the beginning. I mean, you don't need that. All you have to do really is you could just have it, um, you could just have it say, um, you could just not have it say anything and just have to type your password in without it's telling you anything, and obviously no one else would know that it was a password lock thing. But I mean, um, it's for aesthetics, and I mean, why not? So that's what you type edit startup, enter, and you do print bracket apostrophe. So print bracket apostrophe, and then this, um, then you write whatever you want it to say. So whatever you want it to say when it turns on. So I, I'm going to say um, enter password. So basically, every time I open the computer, it will say enter password. So you, this thing between the apostrophes can be anything you want. So print a bracket, apostrophe, whatever you want, apostrophe, bracket. That's all you need. Control, save, control, exit. Okay, now um, you need to make your password. So do this edit, space. Now this is your password so choose whatever you want for your password so in my case I'll just go with js 43 again but if you want a different password like like you want the password 1234 then type that so I'm just gonna write js 43 enter then you do print bracket apostrophe now this is whatever you want it to say when you get the password correct so for my case I'll just say password Correct. Access granted. Then you do another apostrophe at the end and a bracket. Then you press enter to go to the next line. Now, this is the part which will be open door. Uh, you have to do um, redstone dot set output that says output bracket apostrophe now this is the side that it's that the computer is on so 
The computer is on the left hand side of the door, which means that the redstone has to be output to the right because the door is on the right and the redstone power needs to go to the right. Not too hard to understand that, right? Because um, as you can, as you see, the door has to be powered and it's on the right of the computer. So yeah, so if you've got your computer on the right side of the door, then you need to do left instead of right. So then you do another post three. Then you do a comma here. That's a comma. Space. True. Bracket. Okay. Let me just go over what that does. That one will basically turn redstone on to the right. So that will open the door. Enter. Sleep. Which basically means how that it will fall asleep or just don't do anything for a bit. Bracket. And now this is how long you want your door to stay open. So I'm going to say two because that's a good enough time. And another bracket. Enter. Redstone. Dot set. Output again. Bracket. Post three. Right again. Comma. Space. But this time false. So basically that line here, but with false instead of true. Then enter os dot shut down bracket bracket like that. Then you just do control save control wait. Okay, so I'm gonna go read this all over again, and you guys can if if you can't see this very well. So print bracket apostrophe password correct access granted apostrophe um bracket redstone dot set output bracket apostrophe right apostrophe comma space true bracket sleep bracket two bracket redstone dot set output bracket apostrophe right apostrophe comma space false bracket enter os dot shut down bracket bracket okay then you do control save control exit now you do shut down turns off the computer exit out of that by pressing escape enter it again and now it says enter password so we made my password JRT43, so you do that, enter, password correct, access granted, door opens, I go through, door closes behind me. And that's all you need to do. Uh, by the way, be careful of destroying your computer after programming this, as don't, it won't be saved. When you place down another computer, it won't have that in it. So. Make sure that when you destroy your computer, you you're doing it on purpose, and you and you um, know how to do the code. Because if you destroy it, you'll just lose the code. Anyway, that was a tutorial, and I hope it helped you out. Um, and I'll see you later.